G'day, I'm Jamie from Australian Images, and this is a quick overview of DIYcamper.com.au. A few years ago, I started looking for a camper trailer, but despite all the options on the market, I couldn't find anything that really met my requirements. And the trailers that came close were all around the $40,000 to $50,000 mark. So I decided to build my own trailer that would not only be able to cope with the harshest terrain in the Australian outback and accommodate the family comfortably, but also save a lot of money and provide the satisfaction of building it myself. Over the last few years, I've had some interest in the trailer, so I've put the DIY Camper website together to try and provide as much information as I can for anyone who wants to build their own camper trailer, either similar to this one or something completely different. You'll find tips on design, legal requirements and information on suppliers for all the components you'll need. Construction of the trailer took about six months, working one or two days each week. The cost for the materials came to about $15,000 back in 2009, not including the generator or the recent electrical upgrades. My trailer began with a steel chassis, hot dip galvanised to prevent corrosion. Suspension is the fully independent Cruise Master Air System, made in Australia by Vehicle Components. Sitting on the chassis is an all aluminium body, which is mostly riveted and sicker together, providing strength and some flexibility. There's a queen size bed inside, with room for another two single beds sitting on the fold out hard floor in the canvas section at the back of the trailer. On the right hand side there's a large storage area, plus a 2 kVA generator and the electrical system which is also fed from the solar panels on the roof. On the other side of the trailer is a kitchen complete with stove, microwave oven and a fridge. A large awning can be fitted over the kitchen when required. Setting up the basic trailer including the rear canvas and hard floor takes one person about six minutes while putting up the large 3x6 metre awning on the left hand side adds another 12 minutes to the setup time. Packing it all away takes a few minutes extra. If you've got the time, tools and skills for the job, building your own camper trailer can be a very rewarding experience. Take the time to get it right and above all else make sure you always err on the side of caution with your design and construction. Comply with all legal requirements and have the trailer checked for safety by a certified engineer before you use it. Good luck and I hope you find DIY Camper a useful resource when building or modifying your own camper trailer.